You mentioned that both you and your 10 year old daughter seem to have an abnormal amount of gas. And so you seem to belch more than the normal person. And the fact is that most people contain one to three pints of gas in their stomach or their intestines each day. And so a lot of people who feel like they have a lot of gas or maybe just a little extra sensitive about it and think about it more than the average person. So that could be a possibility. Maybe you're just totally normal, but maybe you do produce an excessive amount. And there are a lot of different things that can cause this. Your diet can, you kind of alluded to the fact that you've tried to eliminate dairy. Other like medical conditions can cause you to, and also swallowing. If you swallow a lot of air, that can produce a lot of extra gas in your stomach, which can either pass through the small intestine or be belched back out. And so um, when, you're, when you're swallowing, and remember this happens when you're chewing gum, it can happen when you're um, swallowing drinks, if you drink carbonated beverages, that can definitely contribute to it, or if you're eating, even swallowing saliva. There's some people who just swallow an abnormal amount of air. So maybe think about this and see if this may apply to you. Um, but as far as diet changes go to maybe reduce this, dairy, like I said, can actually contribute to it if you're lactose intolerant. And you might have to give it more than just a few days to see if it's going to make a difference. In fact, give it like one to two weeks and see if that helps. There are other things that can cause an increase in gas um, coming back up, like peppermint and chocolate and fatty foods. And so try avoiding those too and see if it makes a difference. That's kind of sad because those are a lot of things that people enjoy a lot. Um, so maybe just try them one at a time to see which one might help you because obviously you don't want to cut everything out and uh, not be able to eat any of those foods. There are other gas producing foods that you know most people know about. There's a, an ingredient called raffinose that's in things like Brussels sprouts, broccoli, asparagus, and legumes, beans that um, it, it, it causes a, an excess of gas because it's not digested well in the colon and so bacteria end up digesting it and this produces more gas and so you can avoid those types of things and see if that helps as well. If these basic tips and tricks aren't helping, then ask your doctor if it's still a problem and they can ask you more specific questions about it and decide if further investigation or treatments are warranted. Good luck with everything and if you have any other questions for me in the future, Feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.